Hey guys, it is Saturday, May 6th. I am waiting on DJ. We're gonna go on, uh, we're going to a play. We're gonna watch Crybaby this evening. Um, we're gonna take a little bit of a breather. This morning I went to Relentless Money 101. Go Relentless Church, woo woo. I just wanted to um, first and foremost thank my pastors for um, allowing um, the couple to share to, to us their knowledge about budgets and uh, finances and, and even though I already know a lot of this it was a great refresher but also it reminded me how important it is to keep track of every single penny that comes out of my account especially now with the bankruptcy and everything look I'm really wanting to be knowledgeable about how to go about doing this and building that wealth back up again because I know that God is a restorer of everything that was stolen from me, but at the same time, I know I gotta do my part. And you guys see my magazine? Remember how I packed up all my stuff? Like, you know, I have a little bit of decor, but everything is packed up in boxes, so it's kind of funny. And I refuse to get out of the box because I still believe I am moving soon to the north side. Um, a lot of great things has happened. Um, yesterday, I met with, um, uh, I think I already guys. I think I told you guys already. I told you guys about the vendors and everything. But I think overall, you know, last night I was motivated again. I was updating my website, coming up with new ideas. I got new um, signatures for my email just to make it more. Sorry, my shoes is coming off. Um, but it's been just interesting and and really honestly watching people on Facebook, being true to themselves, being confident in the messages that that God has given them. Um, and just watching people shine this hour, rising up to their calling, no matter what's going on, it encourages me. You know, iron sharpens iron. And sometimes, you know, instead of looking at people who are successful as like being jealous or upset or being, or even um, comparing yourself to them and feeling sorry for yourself, stop doing that. Like I get motivated when I see people succeed. I get motivated when I see people, you know, going out there, taking risks, whether they've been doing it for a long time or they haven't, it's really an encouragement to me to watch people um, be comfortable in their own skin. Just like um, I noticed that just looking back at my very first couple of speaking engagements to where I am now, there's a huge difference um, as far as my confidence and what I have to say. And uh, um, anyway, I just wanted to share that. I, th I just want to encourage you all um, to be comfortable in your own skin and just know um, that whenever you do decide to take that leap of faith to walk in your calling to walk in the anointing that god has put in your heart to walk in the grace that that has has been upon your life and truly walk in your purpose you know it's scary because obviously you're taking risks but at the same time it's so rewarding because you're doing something you love and most importantly you know that god is um with you every time when i feel like oh my gosh like what the heck am i doing you know um trying to be a motivational speaker and so forth like I'm like you're good at sales you're good at you know all this other stuff um, being a leader but motivational speaker that's completely out of your you know your expertise even though I speak all the time um, and so but it's just different when you're teaching them something versus like empowering them so I don't know if you guys noticed but there's a difference between empowering people and teaching them something um, and it's just being comfortable that God has given me every resource I need, every knowledge, every principle within me to be able to share it with the world. And so I'm thrilled and excited to uh, be able to share those um, divine um, downloads uh, in my spirit from the Heavenly Father who's teaching me how to build wealth um, in the natural and in the spiritual. And I think that's one thing a lot of the members forget. And just like the gentleman at the workshop said today, is people know the spiritual, but they don't know the natural. And I was the opposite. I knew the natural, but I didn't know the spiritual. So I had to learn the spiritual part during this last season. And now I could combine the two. And I truly believe that I'm going to be unstoppable in the spirit because um, I understand the natural laws. And now I understand the spiritual laws. And now things are just going to catapult from here. So God bless you guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.